Today, I want to speak to you about how the Lord calls out to us and says to us, listen to me. This is from Isaiah chapter 51, verses 1 through 3, where we read this. Listen to me, you who follow after righteousness, you who seek the Lord. Look to the rock from which you were hewn and to the hole of the pit from which you were dug. Look to Abraham, your father, and to Sarah who bore you, for I called him alone and blessed him and increased him. For the Lord will comfort Zion. He will comfort all her waste places. He will make her wilderness like Eden and her desert like the garden of the Lord. Joy and gladness will be found in it. Thanksgiving and the voice of melody. Did you see how those verses start off? The Lord says to his people, Listen to me, you who follow after righteousness. The Lord here spoke to his people, but his people have had trouble listening to him. So three times in this chapter, the exhortation is given, Listen to me. And then the Lord said, Look to the rock from which you were hewn, Look to Abraham, your father, and to Sarah, who bore you. God counseled his people to look at his work in his people in days past. This is one of the great glories of God's word to us. It tells us how God has dealt with his people, and it gives us faith and guidance for his work in our lives, if we will listen to him. You see, at this moment when Isaiah spoke to God's people, they were discouraged. They felt defeated, and the prophet told them to look to God's work in and through his people in days past. Remembering the great things that God has done in the past is a good way to fight discouragement. And the Lord said, For I called him alone and blessed him and increased him. You see, Abraham was one man from a simple family, yet God called him alone and increased him. This should remind his people today that God does not need many people to do a great work. Isaiah wanted God's people, the returning exiles from Babylon and those of Israel's ultimate regathering, to not be discouraged about their small numbers, but to remember that he did great things with Abraham and Sarah. He can do great things through them, even just a few. And then the Lord said, For the Lord will comfort Zion. He will make her wilderness like Eden. Joy and gladness will be found in it. You see, remembering Abraham and Sarah should give them hope in this promise. Now, in some ways, the promise seems too good to be true, but by faithfully remembering God's work in people like Abraham and Sarah, they would have the faith to believe God's promise to them. This shows us how we can benefit from God's work in the lives of others. When we hear about what God has done and is doing in the lives of others, it can build our faith for God's work in our life. It's true that God wants to do good things in your life, but you can also benefit from the good things he does in the lives of other people. For every one of us, if we will only listen, there are reasons to be happy in the goodness of God. Remember those reasons today.